Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this 2020 LG OLED Burn In Test. I'm using this TV as a PC monitor 10 hours a day, every single day. It's already a year of usage, exactly a year. Let me show you my hours of usage. Let me just type the number zero. There it is. 4,068 hours of usage. UTT. You can see on the uh, left down corner. UTT, 4,068. Okay. So more than 4,000 hours. Let me uh, hit monitor test uh, wait monitor test there it is a is the monitor test uh, let's see i'm using the samsung camera 60 frames per second and 4k if it's i'm sorry if it's too sh shaky or not straight if the colors looks funky to you bear in mind uh, camera uh, will oversaturate those colors, so it could look quite different. Uh, white. Mm. I don't see any distortions or burnings. B green. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Red. <laughs> Why green? Uh, I don't get it. Uh, Red. Especially down there at the bottom, when the where was the task when the where the task bar is. My English. I don't know what's what's with me today. My English is that. Uh, anyway, that's enough. Green. Nice. Blue. Beautiful blue. It's ocean blue. Wow. It's not the ocean blue, but it's blue. And uniformities. Uh, Twenty-five percent, fifty percent, and seventy-five percent of brightness. Looks fantastic. But by the way, where's my remote? Sorry, I have to. Do we do we do we cut this video? I cannot find the remote, and we need a remote. I'm sorry for that, but uh, I lose the remote. Why do I need a remote? I need a remote to show you the. Where is it? I just have it. Ah, oh, it's it's there. There it is. There, there it is. There it is. Mm. To show you my settings. Oh, how's the camera? It's nice. Oops! Sorry for not professional test, but uh, yeah, it happens sometimes. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? Should we record this again? Ah, I believe it. It's just a test. Okay, let's move on. Color distance, gradients, and sharpness. If you see a rainbow effect, bear in mind, uh, the camera is too close to the TV, and yeah, it, it's making this rainbow effect, which is not visible in the real life. Black and white. Nice. It's very good for reading. Insanely good. With that uh, tremendous contrast, it's fantastic. Viewing angles, gamma, recording with 60 frames per second, so you will see how smooth it is. It's tremendously smooth at that price. You can get a smoother, more powerful pro processor, but uh, it will cost you more. Significantly more. Well, maybe not significantly, but a little bit, a little bit more. C1 version and A1 version has way better. Uh, this is 120 hertz now, so if we hit, I think if we hold the green button, yeah, or red one, responding is not supported in this input. Oh, okay, that's, I, I don't, I don't want a recording, a uh, yellow one now, no, it's not working, so it's not working in uh, PC mode. 
Okay, so never mind. And that, yeah, that's the test. Hold on. It's fantastic. Well, let me show you my settings. We didn't change anything. All, all I did is update the firmware. The firmware. Huh? Uh, that's, that's the latest firmware. And usually I'm in a game mode, like 99% of the time. All at 50, uh, I'm, I'm not watching the Hegia at all. So I don't care about the super brightness. Uh, it's pretty bright for me. This uh, room is very dark, so uh, I don't have to put it all the way to 100 or something like that. It's, if, it, if it goes above 70, it's too bright for me. And my eyes are getting tired, so... I leave it in 50, and 50 is perfect for me. Those are personal settings, so there's that. Contrast 85, brightness 50, sharpness 10, and color 55. Picture. Oh, why I cannot change this? That's interesting. I cannot change this. Uh, wow. What if, what if we... Oh, let's just leave it. Hmm, strange. In the previous firmware, I could change it. Now I can. I, I now I cannot. Very bizarre. Same here. Huh. Okay, gamma is on two point two. One balance. White balance is on warm one. Of course. If we go to the OLED screen server. This is all on, uh, logo lumen is on high and screen shift is on. Pixel refresh, I never use it because it will automatically refresh those pixels in the background every time I turn off the TV with the remote. Do not plug, it, pl plug, in, plug out the TV from the wall because uh, you need to give him a chance to refresh those pixels, come on. Without it, the screen will burn. It needs to be done. Mm. And I think that's that's it. That's the LG OLED BX 55 inch 2020. After a year of usage, 10 hours a day, every single day as a main PC monitor. I love it. I think it's the it was the best purchase for for 2020. I'm surprised then the then the bottom like you can see the the this the taskbar it didn't burn the taskbar it's pick the pixel shift option will uh, save your screen and I think that's all I have thanks for watching goodbye see you in the next video eight minutes